Hi, this is Stephen at Bike Town, and in today's video, I'm talking about tyre pressure. It's really important to keep your tyres pumped up to the correct pressure. Uh, proper inflation will improve your ride quality, your performance, and your comfort levels in the bike as well. Uh, it will allow you to roll smoothly, quickly, and avoid flat tyres. So, what is the correct pressure? Well, firstly, narrower tyres will take more pressure than wider tyres. So the first thing to do is check how much pressure your tyre actually needs. Uh, the easiest way to do this, most manufa tyre manufacturers will state a minimum maximum uh, pressure on the sidewall of the tyre itself. Um, you'll see a number stated in PSI, which is pounds per square inch. Um, so simply check the side of your tyres to see how much pressure is required. The road bike tyres uh, are narrow and generally take uh, a PSI of anything between 80 and 130. Um, mountain bikes, gravel bikes, hybrids uh, generally take lower pressure because they've got wider tyres and you'll see anything between 30 and maybe 70 PSI. If you pump up between the range that it says inside your tyres, you can't really go wrong. But it's also worth um, discussing what the lower and the high pressures actually mean. Uh, lower tyre pressures allow for more of the tyre to come in contact with the ground. Uh, this means more traction, but it also means more rolling resistance. In other words, you'll get better grip, but you won't be quite as efficient on roads or tarmac. Uh, mountain bikers tend to run their uh, tyres at low pressures. Um, for this reason, they want extra grip and extra control when they're off-road or on the trails. Also, if you're riding on the road in wet or maybe icy conditions, then you might want to decrease the pressure to give yourself more grip. Higher tyre pressures will give you lower rolling resistance as the tyre flexes less and less of it comes into contact with the ground at any one time. Um, there's a real temptation for road cyclists to pump up to the max to maximise their efficiency and speed but there's also a problem with overinflating your tyres as well. As we all know, very few roads are perfectly smooth, so you want a tyre that's going to conform to the bumps uh, on the road and absorb some of the shocks. Overinflated tyres will transmit a lot of these shocks to your wrists, your bum, your back, via your handlebars and your saddle, and they'll sacrifice your comfort and your speed. It's also really important to note that rolling resistance isn't everything. There are other factors that play an even bigger role, such as wind resistance. That's where you see a lot of road cyclists in really tight uh, fitting Lycra uh, and gravity itself on the hills. Also, tyre choice can make a massive and important difference. So don't overinflate. Try and find a sweet spot. Uh, bear in mind uh, the conditions, the terrain that you're riding on, um, will play a big uh, will play a big role in this. 100 psi might fly in the tarmac, but 85 is going to feel a lot uh, smoother on rougher roads. Similarly, 40 psi might feel great in the tarmac, but as soon as you hit the trails, um, you're going to want to decrease the pressure for more comfort, more control, uh, and better bike handling. Rider weight is another thing to consider. Uh, heavier riders will need a little bit more pressure, so factor in your weight when you're pumping up your tyres. If you consider yourself a heavy or heavier rider, then go with a little bit more pressure. Uh, and if you consider yourself quite light, then you can get away with a bit less. So how often should you check your tyre pressure? Well, all tyres leak air over time, so get in the habit of checking your tyres quite regularly. Every one to four weeks, depending on what you're riding and how you're riding. Um, you might have to pump your tyres up a little bit more often if you're on a road bike with higher pressure than, and a bit less often if you're on a hybrid or a mountain bike. So, final few thoughts and tips uh, while we're here. My first big tip is to get yourself a proper pump. Uh, a floor pump or a track pump as they're called with a pressure gauge will make your life a lot easier. It will allow you to put air into your tyres quicker, more efficiently and more accurately as well because you can check uh, how, exactly how much air you're putting in. Uh, smaller pumps are great for having the back of your pocket getting you out of trouble but if you're riding regularly 
get yourself a track pump for home use. Even more than the bike frame itself, uh, nothing influences the quality of your ride more than the tyres you have in your bike and the amount of air that you're actually putting in them. So the simplest way to improve the feel of almost any bike is to fit it with the widest, uh, best quality, lightweight tyres that your frame can actually take and to run them at an optimum PSI. Finally, experiment with uh, different pressures and find out what works for you and the kind of riding that you're actually doing. So that's my video on tyre pressure. I hope you found it useful. If you've got any comments, leave them in the uh, comments below. If you want any topics covered by us at Bike Town, um, send your suggestions in and we can do a video. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel because uh, we're going to be recording a lot more uh, hints, tips, tutorial videos and we hope to see you down at Bike Town soon. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.